practice anything this manic head is going to help you do that even though you have other people at home that you can use but manic head for yourself so that anytime a new style come up or you have something in mind to do you can quickly you know assess your your dummy or your manic head easily to continue or to begin with your what with your tutorial so basically when it comes to updo you can also use the eyebrow as what as a reference or as a guide so you can you just put your your comb here and locate the person's hairline so as you progress through so from both side of the hairline and as you progress to the back you make that shape to become v at the center let me show you you see from the front you can see at the back it has a v shape and at the front it has a u shape so yes don't be confused don't be confused if you don't want to be confused or you want to really get what i am talking about make sure you watch this video to the end so where this um where this guide this is just a guideline of of how to section a normal updo yes with this you can do a normal updo just updo straight updo that doesn't have you know it doesn't have any design on it so but this is the basics this is what you need to learn how to section these three three how to section it out first then you can now design from these three sections that you you did you can now begin to design your updo anyhow you like you cannot manipulate it anyhow you like so when if you are able to get this as in how to section it out like this guess what you are you are you are already a, a pro. so i'm going to section out the part i want so with this one now this is a a slanted updo so from that here, so you want to make sure the hair that you are taking at the center is very little so that so i'm going to be braiding now and make sure you are precise with your pattern make sure your parts are always clean and straight because that will make your braid or your corn roll to stand out so i'm just going to braid everything now and make sure don't forget to don't forget to subscribe to my channel or don't forget to turn up turn on the notification bell if you haven't because i will be bringing your way lots of tutorials so at the end of this updo you will see you will note you will notice a difference in what you have been doing wrongly so i'm just going to braid it all the way now just watch me braid this hair So if you want to get a more defined braid or whenever you are bored, because this is a manic head, I don't want to waste my product too much. So always make sure you use a light gel. Make sure you use a light gel to, you know, hold your braids down. It helps a lot. A light gel helps a lot to make your braid more defined and more, a, a more neater, you know so to make it neater you can see i'm just sectioning it out you can see that this this is a curve i've already created a curve of the head at the top of the hair because you want all of them to uh, to stay there as one you don't want some falling aside you know you don't want some falling aside so make sure you take a small section of hair at the top so that everything will be in order so i'm just going to continue to braid the hair
it's already on you know you can see it's already standing on its own without me needing to come and be you know sewing it sewing it in order for it to be perfect just to do here yeah, i will show you something when i mean you can you know you can use this method to do different kind of updo so i'll just quickly finish this up now and show you what i mean down everything is looking perfect if as you can see this is a perfect of do just imagine this in 